Hi everyone, so welcome back to the other coding. So in today's video, we're going to learn how to style material UI component using Tailwind CSS. All right, so let's get started. All right, so here I'm using VS Code, so you can use any tag editor you want. And right now, this is just a boilerplate from Create React Apps. So currently, it's displaying this H1 right here. And if you go to the localhost 3000, you will see this one. All right, so the first thing first that we need to do, we need to install the Material UI and Tailwind into our apps. So you can find with me right here. I leave the link in the description to the GitHub repository. And you can add this one right here. So this one will be installed Material UI along with the emotions. If you don't want to use emotion, you can just erase this too, but I'm gonna install everything. And for the Tailwind, you can just run this one. All right, so after you install all the dependency, the next thing that we need to do is to run this command. So what this command will do, it will init our Tailwind into our projects. So as you can see, it's gonna generate us two files. The first one is gonna post CSS and the second is Tailwind configs. And for this one, and you can see the content is empty. So we're gonna fill the content where our Tailwind is gonna look in for. So actually this one is a replacement of Perch uh, since version three of Tailwind, it's no longer, you call it purge, it's called content. So we're gonna target the content that was inside our source folder. So it's start right here, and then this is the different type of file. So it's gonna be like .js, and if you write it in the JSX, you can write it here, or if you were in TypeScript, you can do something like this one. All right, so after that done, we're gonna add this one into the our CSS file, and then we can import into our apps. So this is the come from Tailwind, the component or utility base, everything that Tailwind in order to write Tailwind. So after this one, we act, we can import into our apps and all right, so I think we can test it out. So let's actually um, save our app to reload our server. And so I think it's not working. So then to do that, we can do restart our server. So right now it's restarting. So as you can see right now, our style is changing. It just come from the base of the Tailwind. All right, so after we set up Tailwind already, so the next step we're gonna do is to enable it to customize the material UI. So right here, I'm gonna import the buttons from material UI. All right, so right now, if you can take a look at this one, so you can see, and this is the com for components. Okay, so right now, uh, let's try to style the Tailwind into this one. So I'm gonna give it the class names of, let's say I'm gonna BG this one to black. So as you can see, if I try to refresh this one right here, it seems that it's not gonna take effects. So what is that? So why it's not gonna take the effect? So the reason is that it's because of the injection order. So if you look at the element and inside our heads right here, so this is, so as you can see, I cannot zoom this one, but okay. So this, you can see right here, this style emotion data right here, this is come from material UI. And this is style right here, it's come from our Tailwind. So if you can see, when it was on top right here, it's going to, the page is gonna take effects. Most of the thing is gonna be cut from here. So it mean like our style of the component right here will be somewhere, some parts of inside this uh, tag right here. If we can change the order uh, of this one, so it's gonna be, um, the Tailwind is gonna take effect. So if you go and take a look what I see as, as injection order, like by default, style tag and check uh, last in the head element of the page, they gain more specifics than any other style tag on the page. So as you can see, so when a tag is on top, uh, on, on the bottom, so it's gonna gain more specific. So seeing our Tailwind is on top, so that's why we cannot override this one. So there's two ways that we can do. So the first way that we can do is to use import. So important. So if you know, remember, if you don't know important, so important is just to know that, okay, this is gonna important. You, I don't care whatever style that we have before, just override it. And so that's why we're gonna give it root. So what root mean right here is gonna, I'm gonna give the important to the my root div. 
So if you can go to public index.html because our app is gonna start at the ID of root, right? Okay, if you go back right now, you can see that our container is actually changing and it's taking effects. So you can do any styles you want. So let's go back to app CSS. I'm gonna do text dot three axles. You can see it, we can do that. But this one is great, um, but we will use a lot of important just to uh, be able to uh, make this one work. So the other way that we can reduce this one is we can reduce the use of the important by moving the injection order right here and to below. So let's actually see how we can do that. So let's go back into the index.css. So right here I can do import the styles in engines provider. And then we're gonna do inject first. So it means like we're gonna have like tailwinds. So we want to, okay, uh, I want you to inject first and after me. So it means like I'm gonna want the tailwind to inject before my style, so in my style, I mean, in this case, it's material UI. And if we go back and to look at our style right here, so you can see every style of the material UI is go on tops. And for the style of the tailwind, it's gonna go on bottoms. So as you can see right here, there you go. So right now it's gonna reduce a lot of the important. So, all right, um, I can, I will go on back here. I'm gonna remove the important right here. So as you can see, even though if we remove the important, we still be able to uh, use this one. So I'm gonna make sure everything works fine. I'm gonna restart our server in case it's not working properly because we changing the talent config. But after you can see that even though if I'm removing the important, uh, we still be able to override the um, yeah, material UI because the style tag here at the bottoms and yeah but i think it's a good idea just to put it back it's and it was important because some part of material ui we might not be accessible to so that's why we need to add important and the next things that uh, would be nice is we can't so like we don't want to use base image from telvin so you can actually remove this one and then you can so this one as you can see it's go back but this one as will uh, use the base image from the material UI. And so I think that pretty much it for this video. So you can right now try to use some different um, components and then test it out. So, all right, hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe and share this. All right, so see you guys in the next video. Peace.